What is good everybody, it's H back with another 12 Hub TV video. And today we have a couple of new things. Check out the podcast, we're live streaming now. And it's quite the event, love it. We're doing episodes every week obviously and we're gonna just live stream it on YouTube and yeah, I'll dance on Instagram and all that stuff if people are around for that. But check us out, live stream, YouTube, 7 p.m. Eastern time, 7.30, 7 p.m. Eastern time every tuesday night so check that out glenn and i are ready let's go and uh brought back the overhead cam right there <laughs> check that out uh yeah just just part of the new setup just trying to get everything like proper that's about it right now we are going to look at a shoe that i actually did not want <laughs> but i bought it just to mess with glenn and I actually copped two pairs because uh, the si the one that they sent me, a um, little too small. So, let's get into it. This is the Adidas Sean Watherspoon Super Turf Adventure, a.k.a. the Jiminy Cricket sneaker. Let's go. So this came out the same week as the NMD S1s, or same day, I guess. And I wanted the NMD S1, did not get it. I think they're very limited. They're going for crazy amounts of money right now. I'm um, still gonna try to get my hands on a pair, but that shoe was dope to me. I just like the sole, the midsole, and the sole, and all that with the Adidas symbols and all that. Great shoe. This shoe, on the other hand, uh, like I said, I bought it kind of just to mess with Glenn because he said it's fire and all that. And I was like, all right, we'll see, we'll see what it's like. So I ended up copying. Uh, long story short, it took a week until I copped it because they sold out on Adidas. Didn't get it there. Ended up copping off of a European site out of Great Britain called Matches Fashion. Go check them out because this is crazy. I literally bought the shoe yesterday. And it got here today, <laughs> like literally today and overnight from the UK. And I paid under retail. I paid $53, I think. And on top of that with tax and shipping, all in, overnighted right to my doorstep today. Doing the video right now. So getting into it, all right, came in a beautiful box. I didn't take any pictures of it or anything, but it was a beautiful box, sort of like Mr. Porter or any of those nice boutiques, how they how they do stuff. But, whew, this is the box right here. As you can see, it has your Adidas and Sean Watherspoon branding. So, on top as well. Very nice box, actually. Very nice. There is your tags, Super Earth, I mean Super Turf. I got an 11 and a half by mistake because I got the UK So I'm supposed to get a 47, uh, which is closer to a, like a 12 and a half, 13. I ended up getting a 46. So this is this is close enough, but I, I did today get on BBC.com. They were just sitting on there. I got a size 12 American, so that's coming in. I'm gonna keep that one, um, maybe flip this one, who knows. Either way, I got this one and let's get into the box. So yeah, typical slide out box here. Cool thing about this, um, yeah, Sean Wallace all about that sustainability. As you can see here, you have the uh, super earth stuff. <laughs> uh, there's your QR stickers. It has a Disney Jiminy Cricket at the bottom here. Mr. Jiminy Cricket. Got that, and then uh, the ba the bat, the, ugh, the shoes come in this bag. All right, you have to bear with me too. This new camera setup, I'm trying to get used to it. Got two monitors going, all this crazy shit. Gonna be uh, official soon, anyway. Yeah, so it comes in this bag, little bag lady bag. You know, girls use these. It's like a tote for it. Again, Sean Watherspoon, Witherspoon, whatever they call him, is all about the sustainability. Kind of a hippie. And there it is. So these super turfs are made with Addy Preen. Addy Preen midsole. Jiminy Cricket. So look, it has the Jiminy Cricket branding on here. So you can see all that in, I'll throw that in the camera right here. It's got that Jiminy Cricket 
all up in there. Problem here with this is, is that, and I said this before, <laughs> it looks like a damn exoskeleton of a cricket. But what are you gonna do? I personally um, was not a fan of this when I first saw it, right? But what caught me was the little pouch right here. This got me. And I was like, yo, that's kind of fire. I want a pouch on the front of my shoe. What does it do? Nothing, it's just a stash pouch. You can put your, your little weed in here. It has little, little rubbery things for keys, pens, whatever you wanna put in there. Just something uh, very utilitarian, I guess. Doesn't zip open or anything, just, just this top. It should, I wish it zipped from the top, but it zips right here. So you can put stuff in there, right? And there might be something in here. I feel something in there, let's see what's in here. Oh, where are the stuff in here? All right, that is useless. It comes with a green lanyard. What is this for? I guess it's to take this and put it around your neck. The lanyard, I don't know, but look, I would probably put this on my keychain. Oh yeah, you know when you're traveling, you got to do random stuff. So I guess that's that. When you're when you're like hiking in the woods, because this, this is an outdoorsy shoe, you're gonna be hiking in this, whatever. Uh, blue, like a sky blue shoelace, which I dig. All right, I dig that. Like I said, it looks like it looks like the innards of a bug. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket all over. And if you're not into the Jiminy Cricket type of vibe, right? You could always zip this John up right here. And he's gone. He's gone. See that? He's gone. No more Jiminy Cricket and you got this shoe. It's got a cork insole. Very, that's very, it's not that thick. Yeah, it's cork insole. Loose lacing system here, which I like. You know, I was digging through the bag and there was an extra pair of laces. Purple laces. Don't forget about the purple laces. These are actually better than the blue ones, so maybe, yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna keep these, switch out the laces. That's what I would do. I'm not a big fan either way. Uh, I would honestly say this is wide foot friendly, just because, as you can see, midway through here, it's kind of wide. This falls through, and I feel true to size would be good for most people, wide foot or not. Me personally, like I said, I bought these, these are 11 and a half, so European size is a little interesting. It might be big. I have not tried these on. Will not try these on, uh, because I don't feel like it. <laughs> and the way that, you know, like I said, with sizing and all that stuff, it's always tricky. My overall critique here, um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so look, it's got corduroy up here, synthetic, like leather-ish type material here. Adidas right there. Um, a lot of plastics on here and stuff. I guess this is all sustainable. So shout out to Sean Wallace for that. Cork insole, not very seeable, but you know what cork looks like. So I'm not gonna pull that out. But yeah, overall, it's it's, it's an interesting shoe. Definitely won't get, won't get like, you know, caught out there, I guess, in the woods. I don't know, but. <laughs> Yeah, personally, I am not really into this shoe like that. It's cool for what it is. I'll probably wear it with something. I actually have uh, some, you know, a fit for it. But um, I tell you what, you keep, you know, a shoe like this, you gotta keep around for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Not a Brad price point at 160 retail. I think, uh, it has its marketplace. Glenn loves these, I don't. Um, and I'm not really an Adidas guy like that, you know? Things like, see the back heel tab, foam, formation. The hell does that mean, man, formation? What does that mean? Like, Adipreen, you come up with these silly names, Adidas Adipreen? <laughs> I know Addy Preen's in the Yeezy 500s, I think, which I love. I, I love a good Yeezy 500, so keep up with those. But yeah, these 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 are cool for a cartoon shoe. And again, I I'm not keen on the 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 collabs that have been going on with Adidas and and brands like that. It's not my. It's not really 
what's good. These collabs, these collabs they've been doing. The collabs they've been doing have been horrible. Uh, they just throw like 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 what they do with the Stan Smiths. They just throw Disney characters, Legos all on, on on Ultra Boost. Why are you retroing Ultra Boost twenties? They just were last year, and you're putting uh, you're putting James Bond branding on it. Like why 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 Adidas? Just put out more Yeezys and let Jerry Lorenzo run your shop, please. Just let Jerry Lorenzo and Kanye run your shop. People buy their names. I buy their names. Like, I don't care. I want to see better shoes coming out, more creative shoes. Your retros are cool, but given guy, I mean, Sean Wotherspoon, your time. I know you're trying to recreate the magic of your Air Max 90, 197 or whatever it's called. And you did, you try to do it A6, you're trying to do it here, but the shoes are getting, I mean, the Super Earth with the tassels and the other ones, the other Super Earths that came out recently. I understand there's a marketplace for that. I understand people like those shoes and they're creative. I ain't gonna lie, this is creative. Yeah, but it looks like the insides of a freaking cricket or a worm or something. And the only reason I bought it because it has this pouch. And this pouch is like, it's like orange. I don't know. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even like these shoes. <laughs> I don't even like them anymore, yo. I'm looking at it more, and I don't like it at all. No disrespect, but I don't like it. Yeah, these are getting a 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10. And that's just me being... Yeah, I just, I just don't like it. Go, You tell me what you think. Like, like People out there, tell me what you think. This is the... Uh... Super Turf, Sean Watherspoon, Adidas. Tell me what you think about it. I'm a three out of 10 solid. Sorry, Jiminy Cricket. It's a Jiminy Cricket shoe. And it's weird how they, you know, they kind of just threw Jiminy. I don't know if this is part of a Disney collab or whatever. I'm not really keen on that per se, but like, you know, you got it. You got it here. It's, it's in there. Like, I don't know. Like, subscribe, check out the podcast. It's been another 12 Hope TV. Catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.